Our Admiral this year is somebody that has given many, many hours of his time, and yes, it is a male, uh, over the past number of years, um, volunteering in a variety of capacities, both on committees for the River Festival and on our Board of Directors. So without further ado, I'd like to invite this year's Prairie Schooner Mates and our Admiral to come forward. And they'll be coming right through here tonight. When I'm here. present the sword to you, Admiral. Thank you. Congratulations. Yay! Wow, this is really cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's uh, kind of warm in here. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Um, yeah, you know, uh, I think in my opinion, probably the hardest part of this job is already over for me, and it hasn't really even started. Uh, I've known about this since December, and trying to keep it a secret from people has just been uh, really tough because. Uh, it's quite an honor to be chosen, and you want to tell everybody that you can, but you can't. That's just part of the deal. So anyway, um, again, it's been, what, two and a half months since I found out the end of December. And anyway, I'm ready to move on. Um, my uh, volunteer role started with the uh, festival about 15 years ago. I uh, started as a uh, chamber ambassador, and at that time, the uh, chamber ambassador group was charged with selling merchandise at the River Festival uh, during the 10-day period at that point. Uh, they were basically paid and that kind of uh, funded our uh, dues and stuff for, for the year for us to do what we did. And so, again, that's kind of where I got started. Um, since then, I, I've served in various capacities with the festival. I'm on operations. I was on the uh, board of directors. I, I chaired the board for one year. And I think about four or five years ago, I was also chairman of um, operations committee and that was a job in of itself as well um, <laughs> as you can kind of imagine during that time period uh, I've made a lot of friendships with people over the years and um, every year people get involved with the festival and some people drop off and uh, it's kind of cool because about the time you're finishing one festival you're already planning the next one and so you know with that uh, again people come and people go but the friendships remain and uh, I, I see so many familiar faces in this crowd, and I know so many of you are, are I consider friends. I appreciate you being here today. Um, probably one of the most uh, important things that happened to me during my uh, years at the festival is um, I met my wife, Lisa, who's then, or sitting over here today. She's actually been here a little bit longer than Janet, uh, a little over 11 years. And uh, again, I know Gary Sawyer and I, uh, and maybe Bruce Harris, we were sitting in a, a merchandise committee meeting one day, and Lisa came into the room, and I told Gary that, uh, I said, I'm going to ask her out, and he said, there's no way in the world she's going to go out with you. There's just no way. So, uh, you know, things to happen after the end of that first festival, I asked her out. Uh, we, and we've been married eight years now, and without any counseling, so it's been a success. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, well, thus far. <laughs> um, okay, to switch gears just a little bit, uh, I do want to talk about a couple of important points uh, that, that, from my perspective anyway. One of them is the, uh, the length of this festival. It's going on 39 years. And uh, we enjoy that success just because of all the volunteers and the sponsors that make this thing happen. And there are so many communities that, that don't have that. And so um, for all the people that have been involved, when I was kind of writing my notes out, it made me start thinking, 39 years, I wonder how many hundreds of thousands of people have volunteered and how many millions of probably man hours that that equates to. And if you were to try to put a pencil to that, that'd be a great big number. 
So again, I mean, just 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 thinking about that, you know, uh, carries a lot of weight in my opinion. So I appreciate all the people that have been here before me and uh, all the volunteers that have helped out. Uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about a little bit is the significance of the economic impact that the festival has on our community. Um, I'm also the chair of Go Wichita at this facility, and uh, John and his staff do a fantastic job of going out every year, and every day, I'm sorry, and trying to recruit people to come to our community to spend their dollars. Uh, it has a big, significant impact on our community as far as tourism goes, and uh, with that the festival uh, does make up a big portion of that. Over the nine days that, that we have this festival, it generates about a $22 million impact, I think as far as the last study that I've seen. I think it's been higher. It's probably been lower as it built up, but $22 million. Um, just to give you an idea, uh, Sedgwick County brings in $356 million worth of uh, tourism dollars in a year. So we're roughly 6% of that in nine days. And the point I'm trying to make is uh, this can't happen unless we all support it. And one of the best ways we can support it is buying the button. The button uh, takes care of the trash and the porta potties. And you hear this every year, but again, I felt it was uh, important enough to, to try to reiterate that and make that statement. So everybody, please buy buttons, buy lots of buttons, buy two or three buttons. You know, I always have several in my car, you know, hand out. So uh, don't complain about it, just do it. <laughs> Um, I have some other statistics that I was going to give you about local tourism facts, but the point I was trying to make, I just did, so we'll, we'll kind of skip that. Um, okay, I've got a couple of remarks about new and returning festival events. Um, another organization that I'm a part of is the Boy Scouts, and this year the Quivera Council is going to have a council-wide Pinewood Derby. Uh, you can buy a Pinewood Derby car kit at the Scout office. I think they're three dollars or three ninety nine, something like that. And for all the people that didn't get to do these cars as <laughs> kids growing up in the scouting movement, um, now's your opportunity because the council is going to have a, uh, a Boy Scout portion. Then they're going to have an open class for the public. So uh, for all the past admirals that may want to make your own car, you'd probably be pretty good at this. Oh, sure. uh, <laughs> right? I'm going to uh, challenge. will work on mine. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to challenge our uh, operations committee to each come up and build a car and race that afternoon. I'm also going to buy every one of the uh, Prairie Schooner Mates one, and so we can also have our own little class. And uh, we'll have bragging rights, and who knows, uh, maybe we'll come up with some prizes in between. But I just think it's a great event to be involved in. Um, many people may or may not know that this is the 100-year um, anniversary of Boy Scouting. And so there's going to be a lot of celebration this year and a lot of... Uh, information that's given out. So again, um, Pinewood Derby Car is one of my favorites. Next, we have as a new event, uh, House of Schwann's bringing the Budweiser's uh, Clydesdales this year. So, thanks to Pam. They're going to be here the uh, first weekend, and so you'll be able to see them. And uh, I believe they're in the parade. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, excellent. They're going to be in the parade. And if somebody had asked Pam to, uh, if they, they would use them to pull our uh, wagon, and she said, we have our own wagon, thank you. Very much. <laughs> <laughs> so um, anyway, hopefully we're in front of the Clydesdales, not behind them, at least where we're at. Take care of that, don't worry. Awesome, okay, good deal. Okay, a um, couple other new ones, uh, the hot air balloon glow, we're going to bring that back to the Hyatt Lawn. Uh, we're going to have a children's balloon release as well. Uh, some of the returning events this year, of course, the Bank of America River Run, uh, it's a staple here, uh, first Saturday, May 8th, Via Christie's Walk Fest. We're going to uh, do our second year of the Plunge event, which happens the second Saturday. We're going to have Dodgeball, but I believe it's moved to the first weekend. Uh, the Coke Twilight Pops concert and the Capitol Federal Fireworks. We're also going to have Paddle Boats, uh, our Kids Corner, uh, Noon Hour Entertainment and Food Court, uh, Block Party. And one of my personal favorites this year, we're going to have two days of portrait with the Admiral. <laughs> <laughs> so, bring your cameras, bring your cameras, yeah, yeah. Just one day isn't enough. Better you than us. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'll probably be 105, and it'll be extremely hot in this thing. Um, just to kind of wrap it up a little bit, this year is going to be a lot different for me. Uh, I'm kind of used to being behind the scenes and uh, working with the operations folks. 
because so many things that they do uh, go unnoticed. And not just operations, all the committees uh, for Wichita festivals really, um, really need uh, to be recognized. Um, I want to thank everybody that's here today in attendance, the past admirals, the sponsors, WFI staff, the thousands of volunteers, um, the people on Ustream today. Um, I know people are watching from Colorado and Texas, and who knows, maybe even China. You know, <laughs> maybe it'll be happening. And uh, I guess that's all I have to say.